Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. In this grade 11 chemistry tutorial, I'm going to go over a stoichiometry problem that involves the concentrations of solutions. So in this question, it asks what is the maximum number of grams of lead iodide that can be produced when 50 milliliters of 0 0.120 moles per liter of potassium iodide reacts with 39.4 milliliters of 0.165 moles per liter of lead nitrate. So to start, our first step is going to be to write a balanced chemical equation. So first we have our reactants, which are lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So let's write those. So we have lead nitrate and potassium iodide. Then we need to figure out what our products are. If you're not sure how to do this, you can check my tutorial on chemical reactions. This is actually going to be a double displacement reaction. So we're going to have iodine and nitrate switch places, which will leave us with our lead iodide, PbI2, and our potassium nitrate, KNO3. Now the reason why I have two iodides is because here nitrate has a charge of negative one and since we have two of them we know that the lead we have has a charge of positive two so we have lead positive two charge where iodide only has a charge of negative one so we need two of those we follow the same uh, rules for creating potassium nitrate as well if you're not sure about those rules you can check my tutorial on nomenclature which i've linked as well to the top of this video the next thing we have to do is balance this equation so let's start. So we have one lead on the left, one lead on the right. That's good. Here we have two nitrates and only one here. So I'm going to need a two. And now we have two potassium. So I'm going to need a two over here. Finally, we have now two iodines and two iodines. So it's balanced. All right. Now let's look at what the question is telling us. So it says we have 50 milliliters of potassium iodine. So let me just write our given information here. So we have 50 milliliters of potassium iodide at a concentration of 0 0.120 moles per liter. I also know what the concentration and volume of lead nitrate is. We have 39.4 milliliters and 0 0.165 moles per liter. So these are both aqueous solutions, which is usually the case in a double displacement reaction. And it's asking for how many grams, so it's asking for the mass of lead iodide. Now lead iodine would be a precipitate, it's a solid, whereas potassium nitrate is aqueous. Again, if you're not sure how to determine that, you use the solubility table, which I show you how to use in the reactions tutorial, or I do a short on double displacement reactions, which show you how to use the solubility table. So to figure out the mass of lead iodine, we're going to need to figure out which one of these reactants is the limiting reagent. Now, I also did a tutorial on limiting reagents, if you're not sure. Um, this tutorial here, here really is the culmination of a lot of different concepts in chemistry. So I'll link all the previous tutorials uh, up here at the top right corner of the video. So to determine our limiting reagent, we need to pretty much count how many molecules of each we have and see which one is limiting. And the way we count things in chemistry is using the mole. So to find the mole, we're going to use our equation for concentrations of solutions, which say the number of moles is the concentration times the volume. I'm going to do that for both lead nitrate and potassium iodide. So if I do it first for lead nitrate, um, I need to change milliliters into liters. So what we have is a concentration of 0.165 moles per liter times by, so change milliliters to liters, so a volume of 0 0.0394 liters. And that gives us the number of moles to be 6.50 times 10 to the negative 3 moles. 
and that's for lead nitrate. I can do the exact same thing for potassium iodide, and I'll get 6.00 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. All right, so I know how many moles of lead nitrate I have, and I know how many moles of potassium iodine I have. So which one is limiting? Well, looking at our coefficients, it looks like for every molecule of lead nitrate, I need two molecules of potassium iodide. So that looks like if I have 6.5 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of lead nitrate, I would need twice that amount, or 13 times 10 to the minus 3 moles of potassium iodide. I do not have that many moles of potassium iodide. So our limiting reagent is our potassium iodide. Now why was it important to figure out the limiting reagent? Well, because that is the reactant that I have the least amount that I need to produce this lead iodine in my product. And so when I do our stoichiometry to figure out how much lead iodide I have, I am going to use the amount of potassium iodine that I have. So let's do that stoichiometry. So we're going to start with our mole to mole ratio. So we have a mole to mole ratio of, we look at our coefficients, we have two to one. So I'm going to write, we have two moles of potassium iodide and divide that by our coefficient here, which is a one in front. So one mole of lead iodide. And we're going to set that ratio equal to how many moles we have. So I've calculated that we have 6 times 10 to the minus 3. moles of potassium iodide. And when we're doing our ratio, we want to keep uh, the same compound on the numerator and the same compound on the denominator. So we're going to divide that by the number of moles that are going to be produced in this reaction of lead iodine. Since I don't know what that is, I'm going to calculate it. I'm going to write it as x. Now we can solve for x uh, simply by cross multiplying here. And so x, which is the number of moles of our lead iodide, is going to be 6 divided by 2. So that gives us 3 times 10 to the minus 3 moles, which makes sense because for every two molecules of potassium iodide, we only produce one molecule of lead iodide. Now our final step is to determine the mass because it asks for the number of grams of lead iodide is produced. Now to figure out the mass of lead iodide, we're going to use our equation where we take the number of moles and multiply by the molar mass. So the number of moles we just calculated, it's 3 times 10 to the minus 3 moles. The molar masses we get from our periodic table, it's the atomic masses, but they're in units of grams per mole. So for lead, the atomic mass is 207.2 grams per mole. And then plus, we have two iodine atoms, so 2 times the molar mass of iodine, which is 126.9 grams per mole. We put that in on our calculator, and we get the mass to be I've run out of room. I'll write it up here. The final mass of lead iodide is 1.38 grams. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions or any other uh, suggestions for future tutorials, let me know in the comments.